<clears throat> Today we are going to read about Aesop's fables. So Aesop's fable, the writer is giving an introduction, a definition that Aesop's fables is defining here with that hyphen what a ring it has to it. It means that you see whenever we hear the Aesop's stories, the fables, it creates awareness among the audience. Um, it easily arrests the mind of the readers, the mind of the audience, right? Of all the names of authors from Greek antiquity, there are a lot of writers in in the ancient ancient uh, Greeks. So, among all the authors who wrote about the Greek history, Greek um, history, uh, Greek events and philosophies and understandings and all the modus operandi, modus vivendi, Ishop is probably the best known. Yeah, you see, maybe if you ask about Plato, then Aristotle, eventually the Socrates, if you tell these names, on the other hand, if you ask them whether they know Aesop, you will probably get get the answer that most of the people know Aesop more than the others. More so even than Homer. We already know that. Who is Homer? Homer wrote great legendary epics but still he is not as popular as Aesop but it is ironical that the Aesop's reputation should be so high when so little is accurately known about him or his work so the problem about Aesop is in this modern world we love Aesop, we love to hear stories about the Aesop, but there is no proper evidence whether Aesop wrote all these stories by himself or people just collected and aggregated his stories which were scattered before we don't know that uh, moreover Aesop lived six, uh, in the 6th century before Christ so also we are not sure in which year he was born or he lived in this big range of a century which is 6th century All right. <clears throat>